Croft, tight end, Rutgers University. Uh, one thing that the fans might not know about me is that I'm an animal lover. I've always been, always uh, always like going out to farms, maybe seeing, uh, seeing the sights. Uh, you're going to get a hard worker and someone that's both reliable on and off the field. My style of play would be a complete tight end, that someone that is effective both in the run game, protecting the running back, and also in the passing game, making plays down the field. Someone I've always emulated was Jason Winton. He's uh, been playing at a high level for a long time in the NFL, and ultimately that's what I want to do. Back to the area for you, Tyler. You went to Rutgers. Great institution, by the way, in New Jersey. One of the best. I'm biased, of course. Yeah, it's cool. I mean, I had four years in Cincinnati and then two with Buffalo, so I've always kind of been in this northeastern area. I love the fans and the passion they have in this area. I mean, I got a lot of it at Rutgers. It was fun playing in front of them, so it seems pretty familiar, and it's kind of a, it's a cool it's a cool area to be in, too. With the 85th pick in the 2015 NFL Draft, the Cincinnati Bengals select Tyler Croft, tight end, Rutgers. Yeah, good other tight end off the board. Tyler Croft from Rutgers, one of the real solid guys that as the process moves on, gained more and more steam. Big enough to play in line, but he is willing to block. I think he's got a little more upside in the pass game than people think. You can see him make several outstanding catches. If you watch enough of his take, they just didn't go to him all that often. Right, Charles? Yeah, there, there weren't a ton of targets to him. And when I first turned on tape, I thought I saw a guy just ran short routes. But I think he'd get up the field a little bit better. Yeah, you can see him get into the seams. It just wasn't a major league target for them and what they were doing. But in Cincinnati, he also is a guy who's a willing blocker. So think about what Cincinnati's going to want to do. Run the football, bring in another big body that allows him to do that in their division. Hey, what's good, y'all? Thanks for tuning in. And please, if you're new to the channel, like, comment, subscribe for more content. And check my description down below below if you want to get in touch with me all my contact information will be down there and on top of that go check that description for these shirts these dolphin gang shirts let me get up to show y'all real quick they just came out so if you guys don't want to miss out you know go get you a shirt link in the bio right now limited time only only got a few left they said they're not quick so please go grab your dolphin gang shirt Go help support this channel, man. Whenever y'all buy these shirts, y'all help me support the channel. So please go do that for me. But hey, shout out to all my subscribers, man. Um, thank y'all for all the love and help me get to that 5K before the season starts. But today, uh, shout out to Pootie Matt for letting me know in the comments about the Tyler Croft signing. Um, I don't know when they gonna address the O-line. You know, we keep signing tight end. We draft a tight end. Like how much more tight ends do we need, man? That's how you know we're going to run a lot of 12 personnel in this offense this year. A lot of 12 personnel. You signing all these tight ends for what? I'm, like, I'm tired of this 49ers thing. This this is exactly what the 49ers do with day team. 49ers, they just drafted two tight ends Um, this last draft that just passed. We just drafted one and we just signed one. So it's kind of like we're trying to be just like the 49ers, to my opinion. Pootie Mac said Miami just signed a 6'6", 252-pound tight end named Tyler Croft. He played for the 49ers, Bills, Jets, and the Bengals. Do you like the signing? And to be honest, um, I don't really like the signing, man. I do not like the signing. I'm okay with it, but I don't like it. At least address the O-line first. But if you're going to sign the tight end now, that tight end better be a George Kittle. That tight end better be a dog. Like, he better be, he better be the jack of all trades. But Tyler Croft, he's not really that. He's just the average tight end, pretty much. Um, here you can see um, he played for the 49ers. I see him and George Kittle right here. What I seen last year from him wasn't really all that special, especially in that playoff game. Um, I'm going to show y'all next, but here you can see he played with the 49ers. Uh, this is him with the Jets, our, our rival. He played with two of our rivals. So this is an op right here. This guy is an op. He played with the Jets and the Bills in his career. Um, here you go with the Bills. And then um, he did play with the Bengals. I don't see no pictures. He's signing Bengals jerseys right here. So he was over there with Mohamed Sanu, um, our old receiver who got cut like the same month. 
surprisingly enough, I do not know about this signing, man. So I've always prided myself on just embracing whatever role coaches give me. And my last couple of years, I did get snake bit with a couple of injuries, so it's good finally having my body back. Uh, my first five or six years in the NFL, I played around 245, 250, and I'm 260 now. So I feel like I finally got my legs back under me. So it's it's cool being put into a position where I can make some plays. Tyler Croft, PFF grade last year was a 64.7, and this is exactly what I mean. Like, if you're going to sign a tight end before you sign an O lineman, make sure he at least a 70 overall grade. Make sure he shows something physically like you can't deny that you think will help the team. But I don't think a tight end with this type of grade will help the team. And um, his highest grade was his rookie season. Ever since, he hasn't been that good. His rookie season, he got a 66.0 grade. And this past year, he got a 64.7. So I think this is his ceiling right here these type of grades is 66 is 64.7 type of grades so um that kind of worries me as well that kind of worries me um everybody's saying he's a good blocker this and that but um, you're not a good blocker yeah y'all remember this play right yeah i know y'all remember this play this is him right here he's the guy who was blocking hassan reddick which actually led him to break his whole elbow his whole elbow this is the guy who was responsible. Um, hopefully, Mike McDaniel don't make this mistake by leaving him by himself on the edge defender because I think this was a bad mistake by the 49ers to let that happen. But you never know, Mike McDaniel run the same system as the 49ers. So this might be another situation where, boom, two will get hurt. You know, so this is kind of scary to me. I remember watching this game and saying, thank God he's not our tight end. Watching this exact play, I said those exact words. Thank God he's not on the Dolphins, but then look, we signed up. He's on the team now. So, God, I'm praying you don't let this happen to two. AFC Championship game, don't let this guy be man-on-man -man with Von Miller. Please, God. Don't let this guy be man-on-man -man with any good edge defenders or we're going to be doomed. So, uh, when y'all see Tyler Croft, remember this picture right here. Remember this picture. Everybody's saying he could block, but remember this picture. When you know you're the guy here that a lot of people are looking at, rated prospect or whatever, do you block that out or are you aware all eyes are on you? I kind of block it out, to be honest with you. I've, I, always, I love coming into uh, bigger moments to be able to show what I can do. So, honestly, I was just out here competing, doing, my, doing what I love to do. Was there an area where you were impressed with your own numbers? You know what I mean? The, the I, jump I or the 40 or? No, I honestly don't know all my numbers yet. I know I broad jump 10 feet and the vertical was 34, I think it was. So, yeah, it was good being able to jump and do all that, but I don't know what else I really ran. So. What have you done since the come on to make sure you were healthy enough to run? Uh, just a lot of treatment and rehab, getting uh, because obviously it wasn't what I was expecting what happened at the combine, but uh, I was able to just get really focused in on doing treatment over the past two weeks, so no issues, so it felt awesome being out here. With the uh, route running and stuff, did you feel like you, I saw you, did you feel like you did, showed what you needed to show, your versatility? And Yeah, I thought I did. I thought I ran a pretty clean route today. Uh, of course, like, there's always stuff I want to improve on, but I definitely think as far as it's a taste of what I'm able to do, basically. So I think I uh, put out what I can do pretty well. Tyler, I saw you working with the Bengals out there and running through some drills. Were there some drills that you have ran in the past, or was that something that you haven't seen before? Uh, that was all pretty much new stuff. Of course, it, like there's a lot of variations of catching drills and what have you, but those are pretty new to me. Do you mind just sharing a little bit of how you thought Gary threw the ball? I know you've, you know, I'm sure play catch with him across this time, but just a little bit of a live setting. What did you think? I thought he threw really well. Uh, a lot of his passes were on point. I know, at least for me, we caught, we completed every pass today, and it was. Uh, I thought as far as his placement, I thought it was great. Where was it like like even improvement, or is that too strong a word? Like, did you think he seemed even maybe a little better, more accurate? What did, yeah, what did I think, you think? I think he threw well. I I don't. I'm not gonna say if it was like improved or right. anything like that because I think Gary's a great quarterback. I, I think he has one of the best arms I've seen. It's just. Um, so being able to run routes in the ball with them in kind of a live setting really, I think, brought that through. Do you have anything set up yet, Tyler? I know a couple guys, Caleb said the Giants talked to him. Any invites to work out for teams or anything like that yet? Uh, I know there's a few that I'm lined up with, but my agent has my schedule and I'm going to, he wanted me to focus on today and then worry about what's coming down the road. So here's the depth chart. And from the look of it, it looked like they can't even put Tanner Connor name on the list. That's how much tight ends we have. See, first they got Durham Smythe. We just signed up to that extension. So, of course, Durham Smythe, he's going to be first. Automatically put Tyler Croft in front of Eric Saubert. Um, I'll have to see it to believe it. Um, 
I'm hoping Eric Saubert get that second spot rather than Tyler Croft. But um, Tyler Croft, he's used to the system. Played for the Jets a year before. I think Matt LaFleur was there during that time and he runs like the similar system to Mike McDaniel. And last year with the 49er, we just gotta make sure that Hassan Reddick play do not happen again. Please don't let it happen again, Tyler Croft. Um, but for right now, they got Eric Sauber third, they got Elijah Higgins fourth, and they got Tanner Connor fifth. They spoke good about Tanner Connor in those previous press conferences um, a few weeks ago, but now they drafted Elijah Higgins. They signed Tyler Croft. So, what is the message now? Y'all don't believe in Tanner Connor no more? Y'all signing all these tight ends? So, I don't really know what the message they're trying to send with this signing, but um, I'm hoping Tanner Connor makes it. Because Tanner Connor, he put up good numbers as his tight end. Here we have Tanner Connor's RAS. It seems like he has the speed. It seems like he has the size and he has the explosion, but he just don't have the agility. So this probably means he's not that great of a route runner based off these scores right here. But still though, 8.83. Um, this guy was definitely a project. Maybe he's not working out, but we heard him speak highly of we heard him speak highly of Tanner Connor. So um, this kind of makes no sense to me, but I do like Tanner Connor number. I do want him to work out, but if they keep on signing these tight ends, we don't know what Tanner Connor future holds with the team. You know? And on top of that, we got the Hill dude from the draft, Julian Hill, um, out of Campbell. That's that's six tight ends. What, what we gonna do with all those tight ends? Y'all forgot we need receivers too. They definitely forgot we need an uh, O line. They, they definitely forgot about that one. So. Um, Hey, once again, like I said, I don't mind the signing. At least address O-line first before you make this type of sign. Just take care of that position for me, please. I'm praying. Every morning I wake up, I pray about the O-line being fixed. We still got work to do on O-line. Please don't leave this in Austin Jackson's hands. Please don't do this. And it seemed like y'all are by signing Tyler Crawl. If y'all had signed a good tight end, like an amazing tight end, okay, I will understand. But Tyler Croft, he ain't nothing special. He's just an average um, tight end that could come in because he knows the system and he could probably take those other guys' spots on the team. You know, I still want to see Elijah Higgins ball. I still want to see Julian Hill on the field and see what he can do. I want to see them boys, but they keep on bringing in tight ends. If they bring in one more tight end, I'm going to be hot. I'm going to be mad, bro. I'm going to be mad. You know, so overall i don't like the pick but it's it's a whatever pick because i know this is what this team do as far as signing they sign a lot of running backs they sign a lot of tight ends those are the two positions they do a lot running backs and tight ends so hey uh y'all let me know in the comments how y'all feel about um this signing do y'all like it or do y'all don't like it y'all let me know in the comments i'll be happy to hear from y'all but hey thank y'all for tuning in and if you're new to the channel, like, comment, subscribe for more content. Check the description down below to get y'all Dolphin Game shirts. Please go do that for me and support the channel. Um, but yeah, thank y'all once again. I'm gone.